have done uh, this laws governing the food uh, and food items, right? We said uh, that in our country there are many, many uh, bodies which have come up. One of the apex body was FSSAI, you remember, and uh, many sub bodies like uh, your mm, that uh, milk for milk for many other products, uh, the BIS, then uh, Agmark. So all these came up and we discussed uh, about that. So all the time, whenever you are doing something in the processing or product development or you are bringing some new technologies, then all the time you have to keep all these laws in mind so that both the processors as well the consumer, primarily the consumer is benefited because whatever you do is primarily for the consumer because if there is no taker, no consumption, then no point whatever you do, whatever waste you do, so that you have to keep in mind, right. So after the uh, laws uh, governing the food uh, area, arena of food, uh, we now come to that, uh, okay, as I said earlier also that uh, in one class, in one course, it is just not possible to cover everything, right. But even then we said as and when we come across, we would uh, try to cover up them. But uh, for your uh, understanding not and for your information, in this, uh, under this umbrella of NPTEL, uh, there uh, we floated one course earlier that was very very helpful for fluid flow in 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 food uh, uh, food processing and preservation fluid flow that was done in future maybe we also will be doing uh, heat transfer or thermal as well as the mass transfer so these three basic engineering that is uh, fluid flow, heat transfer and mass transfer, if they are not taken as a course, then it becomes difficult for the students to follow up everything and because you know those are the three pillars on which the entire engineering is, uh, I am not saying that uh, only three pillars, but mainly these three pillars are uh, sustaining the entire gamut of the food process and uh, processing, uh, food process and preservation industry. So, you have to be very, very thorough in that and uh, if you have not taken up earlier that uh, at least fluid flow course you can ask for and re register as well and uh, do as and whenever you want. Obviously, I do not know uh, there may be some, some, some requirements by this uh, our NPTEL authorities that minimum so many numbers of students are required for to float already floated one course like that. So, if you demand, hopefully, uh, they can also bring forward the old things. Of course, you can also do for new things like this one and subsequent things which will be coming up in uh, food process and preservation and both. So, there it will be very, very helpful. Okay. Now, we proceed to the uh, fluid, uh, we said that this is the course on dairy and food process and products technology, right. So, this is primarily a process and product technology, but 
we are trying to encompass as much as we can depending on our time frame whatever is given to us. So, we now come to this perhaps today it should be the lecture 16 and this will encompass on physico chemical properties of milk. Why we have taken milk? Because they uh, in dairy typically milk is the primary product, primary product, right? Because based on milk, subsequent things have come up. So, if you understand milk, then you are understanding a major part of the dairy side. So, this is one side. Another side is since milk is a fluid, liquid. So, we also can take this into consideration that any liquid food that could be similar to milk or may be away from milk, but liquid. So, that also can have a similar effect, similar treatment, similar thing may not be the science, means uh, definitely the constitution of milk and another product say soft drink, say uh, fruit juice, they cannot be identical, but the basic thing is that they are also fluid. So, that uh, both as I said mass transfer, fluid flow, heat transfer, they could be similar, right. So, you can, you can, you can imagine, you can deduce, you can think you can develop um, different models, different techniques to solve the problems. But the science part is of course, different because uh, the basic constitution of the individual things are quite different. So, we start with milk as the liquid food and uh, part of the dairy, right. So, then the first thing which comes in your mind is that what is milk, right. So, by definition of raw milk, this is defined as the lactal secretion practically free from colostrum obtained by the complete milking of healthy cow. Look, in this all the words in definition, Number one, it is the lactal secretion, right. Subsequently, when we define again some other, then you will see or we, 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 we extend the uh, what is milk to understand that. So, we will see that this is the lactal secretion means this has to be a mammalian product. Right. Other than mammalian, no other species can produce milk. Only the mammalian can produce milk. Right? Have you ever seen the chicken is producing milk? No, because it's not mammalian. So those who are under mammalian category, they only can produce milk. Right? So, from the definition that the lactal secretion practically free from colostrum, though will come again colostrum afterwards, but since it has come here, let us also say colostrum is such a unique thing. Okay, okay, before that, let us say whether you believe or I believe does not matter, God, right. But we consider nature, scientists do consider nature to be maybe God or equivalent to that. Nature is the biggest friend, biggest enemy, biggest everything. Nature, we are, we are living with nature, right? Everything is nature. Now, that nature has given such the other day when I was talking about uh, uh, shelf stable. Uh, or semi-perishable 
food. So there you remember that we said that uh, egg, right? Just now I gave the example of chicken. So chicken do produce egg, right? And that egg on hatching becomes a baby chicken, right? So to form the baby for chicken, nature has given it egg. Now egg, that egg is hatched and you are getting the young. But other type of species like human, like cow, like uh, whale, like many others, those which are mammalian, right? It may be controversial, I am not sure about whale, but yes, goat or buffalo, all these are mammalian. So, these mammalians, when they produce the young, they, they, they give birth of the young. The young has to be protected because it was in the womb of the mother and when it came out of the womb of the mother, then it is in a new environment, altogether different what when it was or or that particular young was in the home that baby was in the home that time it was altogether different condition both physical and everything and the moment it came out to the new environment on the earth it started fighting against the odds now, to protect this baby from the all odds, nature has given that first few milking of the mother, whatever it be, that mother after first milking of few milking produces this cholesterol, which contains lot of antibodies and many other properties. Obviously, this uh, cholesterol is quite different in taste and others from the normal milk, right? That is why you will say, I don't know whether how many of you have ever gone to any milkman uh, where uh, milk is being milked from the say cow or buffalo, whether you had ever gone to those places or not. If, if you had, then you might have seen that uh, the cow which has given the birth of the new calf is not allowed to be milked for some time because that milk is given to the baby calf because it contains a lot of colostrum which is required by the calf or young, which whatever, we, I, I am giving the reference of cow, so it could be calf, but any other, even human, human uh, milk also, that uh, young baby takes the few milk or few uh, uh, days milk from the mother where this cholesterol is a part of that and protects from the odds against the surrounding because the as I am repeatedly saying that when it was in the omb there it was one condition and when it has come out from the omb and uh, and took birth in the on the on, on the on the surface of the earth lot of lot of other difficulties it we that baby will encounter to protect nature has given that right so that is the cholesterol so by definition we say that other than cholesterol cholesterol free and uh, practically that the lateral secretion of the mammalian up from the from the healthy cow or animal or mammalian we should say is called milk by definition right of course Nowadays, other milks are also available, 
other than lactal secretion. So, that is why the second definition could be the turn milk is also used for white color non animal beverages resembling milk in color and texture such as soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk and many others etcetera. Right? So, this is another kind of milk, this is not the mammalian, uh, um, uh, mammal, uh, it is not from the mammalian, it is from not from the secretion of the mammary gland, it is either artificially produced, it is artificially produced may be from soy as a source, may be from coconut as a source, may be from almond as a source and many many such others, which nowadays are also available commercially also as milk. That is why this second definition is also important and we have to keep in mind that that is also milk which resemble which resembles the appearance color texture of milk, but not obtained from the memory secretion of or from the mammalian right. So, if we say this then let us look into that what milk is, we will look into the physico chemical properties and structure of milk and milk constituents right. So, that is our goal to do that again we come back to what is milk, milk is the normal secretion of the mammary gland of mammals providing good nourishment for the young right. So, for all mammalians this is true that the secretion of the mammary gland that comes out. Source it can be any mammalian like cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, camel, mare, human etcetera etcetera all mammalians may be the source right. Now, if we look at what it is made of the constituents of milk if we look at I just have given uh, in a tabular form you see that from the source it is different like buffalo, cow, goat, human many many others are there I there is I, I cannot make the list uh, here because that will take itself a uh, huge uh, time. So, there are many many and the basic constituents and if you remember in the very early class we had said the basic nutrients of the basic nutrients what we know is fat, protein, carbohydrate, then minerals, vitamins and water right. So, all these are the basic nutrients for human body or any right. So, in that case this milk which is the memory secretion of the mammalians is also made of all these nutrients and depending on the source they are quite different right. Again the reason being you see imagine a case where a mammalian is nature is so beautiful where a, a mammalian is at uh, in the area where the temperature is very very high may be around 50, 55 there are many places right typically deserts and many others where the temperatures are very high, very high. It is not that there is no creature yes there are some mammalians are also there like some other places where the temperatures are the reverse may be minus 50, minus 60. So, in one place it is plus 50 and in other place it is minus 50 and in both the places mammalians are there. So, 
that is what I am again and again praising nature that nature has made such beautiful arrangement that the mammalians which are in the high temperature region like 50 around as we said. So, they will have they will have their constituents much different than that those who, who are at around minus 50 very very cold very very low temperature right and both are for the sustenance of the young which is taken birth for the sustenance of the young which has taken birth for that this is there nature has made such. So, that is why I have given some example for like that here if we look at sources we said buffalo let me see whether the pen works or not buffalo then cow goat and human these are the four species we have given and the nutrients basic water then fat then protein then carbohydrate and then ash this ash contains all minerals may not be the vitamins because vitamins are very very heat level heat sensitive. So, it is very difficult to just point out vitamins like that, but the ash content generally corresponds to the mineral contents right of the that 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 typical food right. So, here you see and one more very very unique thing again nature has given can you name any food material any natural not artificial artificial you can do anything right. If you are asked that you do one product for me which is 100 percent carbohydrate no other things you can manufacture or if I ask you that you please make one thing which is 100 percent protein only you can manufacture maybe the taste maybe the appearance maybe the other parameters may be all different, but you can do, but that you are artificially doing. But can you name any product any food which is naturally available where you will get what we said the basic nutrients the fat protein carbohydrate minerals or, or, or vitamins minerals and water right. So, can you name any any such food product where you have any one of these other than water water is uh, one of the major constituent of all the foods which we have said earlier also one of the major constituent of all the foods that is water unless that is a dried product right. All, all, all normal foods are constituted of major portion with uh, water. So, moisture content may be high, may be low depending on the food case by case. Now, as I said the can you name one food item where any one of these constituents like fat, protein, carbohydrate these three minerals vitamins living aside water living aside basically fat protein carbohydrate any one of these is there is as a single component present in any food can you name any perhaps you cannot you search all over natural I am again and again highlighting that this is natural so any natural product you will not find where fat or protein or carbohydrate is as a single component present except in milk. Milk is the only natural product where you can have one of these component one of these nutrients as in a singular form as a single component and that is the carbohydrate in milk and this carbohydrate in milk is present as lactose 
that is why i am highlighting i am i i, I am giving giving much more emphasis on this that this is the only natural product where you have single nutritional component as carbohydrate as in the form of lactose right so if that be then let us look into that you see buffalo contains water around 82.14 percent cow around 87.27 this is not the exact if you think that all buffalo will have that all cow will have that not like this these are the representative values it gives you idea okay cow will have more water than uh, buffalo milk cow milk will have more water than buffalo milk right goat around 84.17 human around 87.247 these are water content fat content you see it varies 7.44 for buffalo then 3.66 for uh, cow 6 for goat 3.76 for for human protein is around 4.78 for buffalo cow around 3.47 for uh, protein 4.03 for goat and 2.14 for human being lactose and 4.81 for buffalo 3.66 for cow goat 6 and human being for 3.76 as varies for buffalo 0.83 for for cow 0.69 for goat 5.02 and for human 0.31 of course you are you you are young maybe somewhere around 20 right or maybe seniors are also there we heard and it was also in in media in newspapers that one of our old very 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 renowned personal who used to take goat milk right and then it comes why because you see it contains around 5.02% ash that is the high high mineral com, com, component mineral content is so high maybe that particular person could have been managing the source of fat protein or carbohydrate from some other sources but here also you see fat content is very high is around 6 right fat lac uh, lactose protein all are very high so goat is also i don't know how the taste is i have not taken ever but uh, yeah it may have a different taste could be but it is full of nutrition so that might be one of the reason why that typical person used to right i uh, of course i am not taking the name because this is a known fact right so what do we summarize what do we come across or what do we conclude that wide range of water wide range of fat maybe from 3 to 7 or 8 wide range of protein but this variation is not so high it is between say 2 to 5 but wide range of lactose say around 3 and half to 6 and uh, very very wide range of ash around say 0.3 to 5 depending on the source of the milk it is coming right so you must look into that why they have why nature has given such variation as we said in the beginning that 
depending on the requirement, depending on the situation, depending on the environment, the mammalians do secrete accordingly, so that the newly born is protected by all the nutrition nutrients, so that it can survive. That is why this variation is so high, right. But this is a very very uh, 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 wild uh, wild saying of the reason for variation. There are many reasons for variation. Of course, if we come across, if we get time, we'll also discuss what are the reasons for. Even this is for species. We have said buffalo cow. If you look into only cow, there are many cow varieties, species, then they are also dif producing different uh, constituents of the nutrition. So, all depends on many, many factors, those we will come across subsequently. Okay, today time is up. Thank you.